Ladies and gentlemen, I've been waiting for this token to go live for over a year now. I'm talking about Miria, one of the competitors that people keep saying is going to be like the next Gala Games. Miria has been kind of building out its ecosystem partners over the past year. And so they recently went live. In fact, if you look at the chart, it's just chilling. Like it, it went to nine cents from 7.5 ish. And then it's just here, right? It's just chilling. And so I want to touch base on their nodes ecosystem because, you know, people were really hyped about founders nodes. People were hyped about different things. I've got a couple of analytical stuff to show you. So if you enjoy that kind of stuff, this is classy games. I show you everything about crypto games. If you like that stuff, like, and subscribe. And so let's get into it. Okay. What does Classy think about Miriam? Well, my opinion is biased. I personally own two Miriam nodes. So whatever I say, just take it with a grain of salt. I want to go over some math right now because Miriam nodes are going to be going live April 10th. And these are actually going to be costing quite a bit. In fact, this bit is going to be like $4,500 a note. It's going to be crazy. But at the end of the day, if we look at the pricing structures for all this, the node sizes go up pretty significantly fairly quickly. So how many Miri nodes have sold? We've sold around 6,000 nodes. At the current rate of nodes, if we have 6,000 nodes here, well, we actually know how much nodes will be making. In fact, with 5,000 nodes running at the same time, which by the way, it's usually not the case that every single node is running. Uh, there's always external cases where some nodes aren't running. Uh, you'd be earning 2,465 Miria. And so if we take this number of 0 0.00729, and then we go ahead and grab our other number, which is 2,000, let's get this, 465, you're going to see that the daily, you know, in terms of USD value that you're going to be receiving is $18, right? And that's at the 5,000 nodes, which could be the case, could not be the case. Something people were a little upset about was they think that these are immediately all going to sell out. Truth is that Gala Founders nodes aren't even sold out and they've been around for two years. So uh, probably not going to happen. We're just going to get to this situation where, you know, when it makes sense for these nodes to be sold, they'll be sold. For example, like if we hit a billion dollar market cap on Miria, uh, I would probably guess that batch 10 is going to sell, right? But if we stick around at 100 million, uh, we'd probably get stuck at like batch five or batch six, which is fine because that's how things run. If as long as it is financially feasible for something to run at a certain rate, that's just how it's going to run. And so in terms of day zero distributions, they're going to be giving 12 million myriad to be distri distributed to node owners for the first cycle. And if you look at the stuff, there's an early claim fee as well for this. At one cent, your return on investment actually wouldn't be that crazy. For example, if there's 10,000 nodes running, which would be double what we currently would have, right? April 14th is when this goes live. The amount of months for return on investment would be 24 uh, on a $4,500 investment, which is uh, the first batch, right? And so there's half of that right now. It'd be about around a year at current prices. Uh, this is in the scenario that Miria does nothing, right? Miria does nothing for the rest of eternity, and it is what it is. If it doubles in price, then you get your ROI sooner, and et cetera, et cetera. At 15,000 nodes running, which is actually a lot, like 15,000 nodes would be pretty crazy, uh, you'd get ROI in 36 months at the price of one cent. We are about 30% away from a cent. We've hit a cent earlier on. And so in terms of that year one expenditure, that's kind of where we're at. And I think ROI is not that bad. Like, if you look at the amount of mirror people are getting, and $17, you do that in a month, what's that? Times 30, you'd be making 539 in a month, times 12, that's $6,469 a year. That's not bad. Like, that's, that's pretty much ROI on that. So the bet is that Miria pretty much stabilizes and continues to kind of flow upward. Uh, it did launch on OKX. It launched on KuCoin as well as MEXC. So it does have that pressure going for it, which is always good to see. In terms of the actual Miria blockchain and what they have to offer, uh, they've got a couple things. They've got all these little, you know, marketplace NFTs. They've got the free stuff that they're giving away for their airdrops. In terms of its ecosystem, it has a lot of projects, to be honest. It's a lot of indie projects that are smaller. 
Some of them are kind of meme projects, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, the bet is that one of these is going to take off. It's really as simple as that. A single one of these games takes off, and we're doing quite well. But ultimately, it's going to just be uh, whether or not the people want to go ahead and hop onto this. I definitely think Miri is high risk. And by no means is like buying a no that's $4,500 is low risk. But in terms of the whole like gala narrative where people are getting these founders nodes and they were going pretty crazy, you, you have ETH compatibility, you've, you've got a lot of the same things that we had before. Uh, there's just that opportunity that's there for you. So you can go ahead if you don't feel like spending money. There's this Alliance Keys NFT drop, you can complete quests to earn points. And overall, in terms of staking, I think it's going to be really interesting to see if when these games come out, if the demand actually matches what they've got. Because they do have pretty good volume. I mean, they've got a million dollars stable worth of volume. Maria right now is at a really low market cap. I think it's like 13 million or something like that. No, it's 12 million. So it's, it's actually really low. A very low market cap, but that's like 3% of the self-reported circulating supply. It's it's like, it's going to be, this it's going to be a really interesting ecosystem to see what happens in the future. But let me know your thoughts in the comments section in regards to Miria. Uh, until the next time, stay classy, and that's all.